Yeah, g'day folks, just Ben here. Just want to give you a bit of an idea about how we can use specific growth rate as a, a metric or a measurement, predictive tool um, in relation to planning for a feeding program. And it's even a really uh, suitable tool for being able to plan production schedules and particularly understanding where the changes in growth might occur. And I guess realistically overall, the whole aim of uh, growing fish is to harvest them so we can actually use the specific growth rate as a predictive tool to understand where a batch of fish or an individual fish might reach a certain point before we send it to market. Now specific growth rate itself or otherwise what we call in the industry terms SGR is a measurement of the independent I guess daily growth of fish over time. So if we put in here down the bottom time on a chart and up the side here we put growth um, what we see with fish over time is the older they get the slower their growth curve starts to become almost to a point where it may even flatten off some species of fish will flatten off and then they may go through another bit of a uh, increased growth rate after that period of flattening um, so really what we're really probably trying to achieve is a point where Hopefully, this mark here where the curve starts to flatten out is our harvest. It's not always going to be that case. Sometimes the market will drive a fish that needs to be a little bit bigger, uh, and we need to try and account for that at some point in time, I guess. So we might say that a harvest size on a fish might be three kilo, just as an example. No particular species, but let's just say at that point there, we're achieving... Uh, a harvest size of three kilo. Now, in the phase to that point, the growth phase, every day this fish grows, or these fish grow, their growth rate slows down. So it's really hard for us to compare daily, monthly, weekly, whatever it might be, because the growth rates aren't the same. So any given day of growth is going to slow the fish's growth down. So day one, the fish might be growing at, say, 10% a day. Day two, it might be growing at 9.996% per day, so on and so forth, to the point where we achieve that harvest size where the fish might have slowed their growth right down. Now, the important part behind that, I guess, is that as the fish grow, the diet is going to change. And I, sometimes I use that little symbol there as uh, when I indicate that something might change. Uh, and normally their growth is going to slow. So if somebody asks you what effect does age or time have on their growth, uh, growth is going to decrease or their growth rate is going to decrease or they're going to slow down their growth. Um, and the type of diet will change as well. So we've got a, a change in the diet in terms of uh, the, let's just say the ratio of protein to energy is going to change but the type of diet might change as well so we might have early in the phase we might have a live diet by the time we're starting to get them across to after the wean phase they might be on a pellet and in broodstock phase they might be on a wet diet or a natural diet sometimes we call a wet diet a natural diet so really what we want to be able to achieve is predictability in our feeding program uh, in the fact that at X, any X amount of time within that growth phase, we can predict what the fish want to eat. Now, really, the main aims for it are to predict and monitor. Now, I've got some additional supporting videos after this one that will show us how to use the SGR to predict growth time frames associated with that growth when the fish actually get to harvest and also another mechanism in how we can use it to monitor our target measurements or sometimes we call them kpis now realistically the predictions are going to be going off to the likes of feed companies all right so we need to be able to predict growth so that we can predict how much food we're going to need and the market is also going to want to know how much we're going to be able to produce and how fast 
So they're the key items behind why we want to predict. Uh, and then the monitoring stage will help us to manage health, for instance. So if we see that there's a change in growth, is it something related to health? Uh, and it will also help us to manage performance or efficiency or things like that within our feeding program. So where to from here? I guess the, the thing is that we need to know what the SGR formula is. Uh, and it's a bit of a complex looking thing for those who aren't mathematically inclined. But when we break it down into its subsequent components, which I'll, I'll just put green a green box around that one. I'll put a purplish box around that one. I'll put a light blue box around that one. And then we should be able to see where we're going to from there. Now, anybody who isn't familiar with um, mathematical terminology, this little LN, lowercase l, lowercase n, is the natural log. All right, and the reason we use that natural log is it enables us to compare those different stages of growth uh, together. If if I tried to compare day one with day two, I mean, I can, but mathematically speaking, it's not really a good way to do it because we know that by the time we've hit day two, the growth rate has already slowed. So this natural log enables us to transform the data uh, and mathematically speaking, when we bring them all back to their natural number, so uh, the natural log, we can compare day one with day 200 if we really want to. So it enables us to predict uh, mathematically and compare. So that's really what that is. And like I say, that natural log, the symbol is LN. So when it's on a calculator or it's in a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet or whatever it might be, the function is LN. Um, weight final or WF, up here we've got this WF and I'll just draw a little arrow through here. That WF is weight final. So uh, the last day that we've done a weight check. So final weight expressed in many ways it could be kilos it could be grams whatever it might be uh, over here we've got weight and that one says initial all right so what did our fish start at at the start in terms of grams kilograms sometimes it might even be tons if people wanted to go down that track uh, and we're going to use that number as well this bit here gets applied to it so that we can convert our answer into a percentage of the weight of the fish. So if I've got 100 grams of fish and I calculate out my specific growth rate, my answer will come out in a percentage. So that's what that multiplied by 100 is. And then over here, we've got uh, time or a day or a date. Oh, no, not a date, it has to be a specific number. So time at the end of the growth period and time at the start. All right, so time at the end is TF, time at the start is TI, so final and initial. That makes sense? So what we would do is use this formula the way that it is by putting in or substituting the, the symbols or the, the, the functions, I guess we would call them, with actual numbers. So if we said uh, this, the final weight that we calculated on this fish was 100, the initial weight we calculated was 10 grams, and then the time to get from 100 to, from sorry, from 10 to 100 might have been uh, 175 days. So in that formula, we would func plug in the functions that we have there, uh, and then from that stage, we would be able to predict what our percentage uh, of weight, I'm going to put percentage grams per day, we would get out of our fish. All right, so moving on, I'm going to give you an example, and then I'm going to get you to calculate your own for me at the end as a little bit of a practical exercise, I guess. So at the moment, we've got uh, weight initial, weight final, we've got what we might say TF, so time final and time initial, all right? So if we pull up our little formula, 
So we're going to go LN WF, so weight final minus LN weight initial multiplied by 100 and then divided by, I'm just going to plug it in there as time for now. All right, so on a calculator, if I can bring up a calculator here, I hope so. All right, we can just scroll that up to there. So we've got a bit of room to move. This is the function that we're talking about here, this little LN. And I think on this calculator, we're going to have to plug in the numbers beforehand. So I think we can go 100, then press LN. All right, so wherever our function of 100 is uh, calculated out, uh, our number up here is, we're going to round that up to two decimal points. So we're going to have 4.6. All right, and then we're going to do the same thing for this LN final weight, which is going to be 350 over here. So we'll plug that in, clear that off, 350 LN. So we've got 5.8. Oops, what have I done? I'll shift it over to something else. 5.8. All right, and then really what we want to do is put some brackets around that and then multiply that by 100. All right, so we can put that on a calculator. Clear that out just to make it a bit easier to understand. 5.8 minus 4.6 equals 1.2. And then that's going to be multiplied by 100 and then it's going to be divided by the time frame that we have here. All right, so the time frame is going to be 113 minus 72. So if we go clear that off again, 113 minus 72, it's going to be 41. Some people might have been able to do that in their head. All right, we can do 1.2 times by 100 and then divide that by 41. And that's going to give us our, so I'm going to have to write this over here, SGR in percent per day. All right, it's going to equal whatever that sum is going to be. So 1.2 times by 100, whoops, not 1,000, going to equal 120. Divide that by 41. All right, and we've got 2.9% per day in that, in that time frame. So every day that our fish grows in that time frame, it's grown an additional 2.9%. Next day, it's grown another 2.9%, another 2.9%, and it represents something that looks very similar to compound interest, if anybody knows anything about accounting or financial uh, sorts of matters. So realistically, what we want to do with this right now is to give you an example to calculate. So I'm going to give you a quick example that you can calculate by yourself. Hopefully you can go back and review the video if you need to, to see how we've gone. So I'm going to give you a starting, that's supposed to be a 7. We'll go 7.5 grams. Your fish grew from 7.5 grams to 22.7 grams. And they did that uh, day 70 through to day 210 for instance all right so what i want you to do is to go off and calculate that for me email through your answer really quickly just say here's my sgr calculation from the tutorial i'll have a look at it make sure that it's all good to go uh and if you can just show me your working so if you can scan through uh handwritten stuff or you can yeah try and do it by hand if you can by a calculator because it gets you in the mode of doing it uh, and later on in the next couple of sessions, we'll show you how to use Microsoft Excel to reproduce this specific growth rate formula in a couple of uh, monitoring and predictive tools. All right, so have a go at that and just let me know how you go. All right, bye.